Dear Robert is brought to you by tintypephoto.com. All right, this one comes from Cindy in Atlanta, Georgia. Dear Robert, I just started a new business and there are a handful of customers who come in each time telling me how I should run things or why this should be over here rather than where it is, <laughs> etc. Should I ignore what they say and smile or should I say or do something? Because now it's getting annoying. <laughs> annoying. Uh, let me tell you about annoying. Um, here's annoying. <laughs> I, I used to have my own business for 58 years, and this is how I ran it. Well, sir, 58 years ago, it probably was run differently. Well, that's why I say, if that was my business, well, sir, it's not your business. But how many times have we heard that, oh, all girls? The time. Now, here's the thing. I think the best thing that you can do in any kind of business, whether you're a service establishment or, you know, if you're, you know, a, a plumber, or you know, a roofer, it doesn't make any difference what you are. If you own a uh, restaurant, you should have an escalating price structure. And what that is, is when someone starts that, it's called the ass price. <laughs> if you're gonna be an ass, you're gonna get the ass price. Now we, we have that at our business. It's called the AP. We, we shorten it because <laughs> we don't like to let our customers know that they're actually- It's like a code. Yeah, it's a code between us, but it, it means that. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, then we're gonna give, it starts escalating. And if I was in this position, what I would say is, uh, how much for that coffee? Well, it depends on how much of an ass you want to be. <laughs> and the price goes up from here. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, and you know what? That would probably solve that guy's issue. And again, the thing that I always say is, if you've got a customer like that, you don't need that customer. Mm -hmm. Tell them there's the door. I mean, you know, because all they're doing is disrupting. All they want to do, all they want is something for free. They're freeloaders. They want to. They want to. You know, they're miserable people, and they want everybody around them to be miserable too. And and everybody's. You know, businesses are getting it. They're getting sick of it. I mean, corporations are getting this stuff. You know, we talked about that mm -hmm. for a long time. Oh yeah. And uh, but you know, the best thing to do is you know, pull out the old ass price. I guarantee you, by the time they pay twelve dollars for a cup of coffee or whatever it may be, <laughs> they're going to understand that eh, maybe I don't want to come back here. Yeah, and it gets annoying when they keep doing it over and over. You'd think they'd say their piece and be done with it. Yeah, we had one the other day that called you and wanted uh, one thing done. Remember, we talked about it, and uh, and by the time we got out there, you know, they were upset because you didn't, you didn't, you said that you were going to be there at a certain time, which you were there during that certain right. in that time. window of eight thirty to nine thirty. Exactly, yeah. and uh, it's like I told her whenever I got back, I said, "Hey, I looked at you and I said, give her the ass price." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I said AP. Yeah, I did. we did. But she knew it. Yeah. I don't use that word much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Cindy from Atlanta, does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So, hey, you know, we love it whenever you send these questions, and we like to go through them all the time, but uh, it's there's some pretty interesting ones.